First, make sure you understand the question. It's pretty standard here. We gotta support the claim, but sometimes it says weaken, so just make sure you know what they're asking. And when we go through here, we just we really do wanna focus on the student's claim. Um, we can see here, they're gonna say student asserts, so that's probably where we need to go, but we should probably read everything that comes before that too. A student is examining a long, challenging poem that was initially published in a quarterly journal without explanatory notes, then later republished in a standalone volume containing only that poem and accompanying explanatory notes written by the poet. The student asserts that the explanatory notes were included in the republication primarily as a marketing device to help sell the standalone volume. So the notes are a marketing device to help sell it. That's my claim. All right, what do we got? Uh, what's going to support that? So something about it being a marketing device. Uh, the text of the poem was published in the quarterly journal is not identical to the text of the poem published in the standalone volume. Well, that has nothing to do with marketing or selling things. It's just, it's a different poem. So if the poem is different, then presumably the point of the second volume would be to show the difference of the poem. That's not what it's doing. The poem needs to be the same. B, many critics believe that the poet's explanatory notes remove certain amb ambiguities of the poem and make it less interesting as a result. Well, if it's less interesting, why would that make it sell? And plus, I don't really care what critics think. I care what people who are buying it think. So this seems wrong. Maybe I'll keep this one, but it, it doesn't feel right. Um, C, the publishers of the standalone volume requested the explanatory notes from the poet in order to make the book attractive to readers who already had a copy of the poem in a journal issue. Right. So publishers or sellers, it's making it attractive to people who are going to buy it. Right. Like this is just about the thing that it says it's about. Right. It's about people who are going to purchase this volume and what they might think of it. So this seems right. Let's look at D. Correspondence between the poet and the publisher reveals that the poet's explanatory notes went through several drafts. So what? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> what does that have to do with selling it, right? Do I Am I going to be more or less likely to buy this book if I know that there were several drafts? I don't know. I couldn't care less. But if they're talking about selling it and making it more attractive, then that's exactly what the student is suggesting. So this is a good example of just like, don't focus on all the details. The student's claim is pretty specific and uh, you can kind of shorten it even a little bit. But even with that shortness, you can kind of make very obvious connections. So um, don't overthink these. Just cut it down, dumb summary, and then look for similar matching ideas in the choices, and only one is going to have the, the right connections.